probably time to tell the viewers what's what's going on today. Oh, I thought it was time for a drink. Hi, my name is Dylan, and this over here is my lovely wife, Lake. And today we're out on a brief overnight camping trip. But first, we're we're hiking up in Logan Canyon. Uh, today is one of the first really warm days we've had in several months. Seems like winter kind of just up and left in a matter of a day or two. But we're not complaining. We're going to take advantage of the good weather and have a good time. It's break time. Yep. We, we didn't tell the viewers exactly where we're at, or at least what trail we're hiking right now. Yeah, so like we said, we're in Logan Canyon and we're hiking up to see the Wind Cave. Yes, the Wind Cave is a pretty popular hike here in Logan. And it's supposed to have some pretty excellent views at the top. I think it's about two miles up and two miles back down. And it gains about a thousand feet in elevation. By Georgia standards, this would be considered a strenuous hike. By Utah standards, this is a moderate hike. <laughs> We've spotted it. Now we just have to get up there. Maybe we should ask the viewers, is it better to be able to see where you're going and know how far you have to go? Or would you rather not see it until you get there? Because I'm of the first persuasion. I like to see it and I'm like, all right, that's how far I have, I can do that. Apparently Dylan thinks that being able to see it is just discouraging. For me, it was when I attempted to summit Mount Albert in Colorado. <laughs> which I should mention is the uh, second tallest uh, mountain in the lower 48. Uh, and because we could see the summit the whole way, it just made it that much more discouraging seeing how far away it was the whole time. But uh, I guess not everybody thinks the same way. Also, it's worth mentioning that this viewpoint that we're looking at is not terribly far away. No, it's not. One of the nice things about the Sequoia is that you don't have to stay organized when you go camping. It's just so much space you can just throw your junk in there and forget about it. All right, we're gonna look at the panel here. The Jackery is still at 100% and our fridge is still running. So through that two and a half-ish hour hike, uh, the panel functioned perfectly. And we still have, you know, a completely full battery for tonight. So, yep, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, let's go to Providence Canyon.
How was the hike? It was very good. In fact, for me, it's definitely in my top 10 hikes, if not top five. We were talking earlier that it has pretty much all of the things you look for in a good hike, which are uh, good views the whole way, but also the best view at the top, you know, so good, good reward for it. Uh, and it was just kind of the right amount of, uh, of strenuous, I should say, because it was, you know, about four miles, about a thousand feet of elevation gain. It was just enough to make it a little bit of a challenge, but it wasn't so much that you, you know, wanted to perish at the end of it, so. so we did make it back into Providence Canyon here and uh, we did make it up to where the snow line begins and uh, it was something that we definitely could have continued going uh, through uh, however there was a vehicle that was stuck up ahead and there were people already assisting with the recovery but honestly we just didn't really have the patience to wait on that it looked like they were some time away from getting the vehicle unstuck uh, so we just came back here to the first campsite available, uh, and it's, it's okay. Unfortunately, there is some trash out here, and there's also, uh, currently people on the other side of the road shooting guns. Um, we'll have to bleep that out. Why? The guns. You two will get us. Oh, well, as long as I'm talking about it in a negative context, it's all good. The good thing is they're leaving right now. Not that we have anything against guns. That has to be removed. We have to cut <laughs> me saying that out. We obviously like guns, um, but obviously you don't want to camp next to somebody shooting. But it looks like they're wrapping up. So we're about to have a nice, peaceful evening. Alright, I'm going to put up the drone for a minute, I think. I think I'm going to go over to the uh, the field over next door. While I slave away in the kitchen? Yeah, well... You have fun. That's fine. What are you making tonight? Uh, the camping trip usual. Bratwursts, <laughs> although I wouldn't recommend this brand, but this was all that the Walmart and Brigham City had. I was about to mention that I, I'm pretty sure the last three, maybe four times we've gone camping, we've either had brats or hot dogs. So, um, so yeah, that's what it is tonight. It's just, it's easy to do while you're camping. And recently we haven't spent a ton of time planning ahead. <laughs> We've kind of just been packing up and going, so it'll be good though. If you want to know why I'm cutting these in half, it's not because we're, you know, we have such terrible appetites that we only eat half of bratwurst. It's because the Walmart in Brigham City also did not have hot dog buns. No hot dog buns, but they did have these little pretzel buns. And like, look how cute they are. So, we're improvising. <laughs> All 
All right, so this is uh, what we've come up with for tonight. Uh, bratwurst wrapped in a pretzel bun. I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on it, but I, I, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Doing a nice job, Fireboy. Thank you. Did it turn out as you expected? Um, yeah, I'm actually really proud of these. Mine was good except for a little eggshell I ate in you it. You did not. You better sign off with the viewers. You pretty much just say, thanks for watching, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Or you can tell them to go follow our Instagram account, subscribe, leave a comment. Are you recording? I am. I think he just told you everything. All right, well, I guess we're done here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.